they actually look a lot better than their previous calibration they did these acgs but i'm still confused i'm still confused as to who these are for because i don't necessarily think the jack moose woman would wear these shoes so i'm wondering who are they designing these sneakers for it's so confusing so it's an air max one you know what air max one looks like it's mostly tonal the upper is a bit different to what you're used to it almost feels like they have removed all the paneling and you've got this perforated design and you've got this cut out swoosh logo that's very small um you've got this nice suede mud guard that almost looks inside out design wise you've got this very square window for the airbag which is completely different to how an mx1 is it's usually kind of rounded off so i'm not really sure what that is all about but design wise just objectively they look really cool i also like like at the bottom of the sole you have the jack moose logo on one shoe and the nike suits on the other one which is pretty cool imagine walking in the snow and leaving foot imprints with your jack moose thing on there and the front is completely different too so normal air max ones the mud guard wraps around this particular mud guard is kind of split on both sides um this silver colorway is actually really really nice it kind of reminds you of the air max 97 They've got a really nice quilted lining here um, and the seals here have been silver with the silk as well. So you've got this really nice silk, almost satin lining on the inside. The tongue is also really cool. You have this lo Nike logo in the satin on one side and you have this circular Jack Moose logo on the other side. The laces are a bit weird. These really fat, wide laces with these weird little Nike end bits, which are a bit too much for me personally. But maybe provide regular laces i think the laces probably kind of distract from what's going on there too many swooshes there's like one two three four like all over the place i think you need to relax with the swooshes but overall not too shabby and i think they come in like white silver and red um maybe the red color is probably the poorest looking wise oh look at this look at the insole so the instep that's interesting the instep of the air max 90 or the air max one on the instep there's a really small window but then on the outside, the window's really long and elongated and rectangular shape. That's pretty cool. I don't, I don't really mind that. You don't usually see that on the air bubble. And then on the inside, you've got the instep as well. You've got a little silver um, swoosh here, and it matches the eyelet detail here on the top. So not too bad. But again, I'm confused as to who these shoes are for because. You look at Jack Moose and you look at what they make. And when I think of Jack Moose, personally for me, I know now the brand has kind of fallen off. But when I think of Jack Moose, I think of like spring 2018, one of their best collections. I think this is the one they debuted that huge floppy hat that was like viral all over social media for a while. And everyone was, and, and there's loads of fake copies of it as well, right? This look here. So I think of this like quintessential Parisian you know sunning in the mediterranean woman um maybe a very affluent and shit but the type of person that probably wears flats and, and that might wear like gladiator sandals who might go to the beach barefooted and shit but this type of girl or this type of lady i would never think that they would want to wear a pair of air maxes that's why i'm confused about their collaborations like who are they who are their collaborations actually for because this this sim this jack moose girl the one that i've got on the screen right now from spring 2018 they would never be seen dead in a pair of air max ones and even more so their previous collaborations they did these atgs um a couple of years ago that i think were one of the worst collaborations ever they're so fucking shit and um, they did these particular nike humaras and again i don't i don't see the jack moose girlies as they say online that would be into these shoes unless you're just into the brand itself it doesn't really match up to what they do so i wonder if they're purposely trying to gain a new audience or trying to differentiate it maybe this is a you know maybe this is an inkling they want to create a diffusion line i don't really know what's going on but i'm confused as to why this particular lady would want to wear a pair of air max ones like what the fuck was she especially ones that like maybe the white ones you could see them wearing but just the shape of them the silhouette would not go with anything that you see jack moose putting down the runway so i wonder what the collaborations are about maybe it's just opportunity thinking about it out loud maybe it's just an opportunity that he couldn't turn down um nike offering you a chance to collaborate on a shoe and you're a brand up and coming brand you probably can't say no maybe for the look and the ability to create footwear which is really expensive and shit i get it but i'm just confused as to what the clip what the what the connection is between these air max ones and what jack moose does as a company anyway overall i just can't picture 
anyone from their lookbooks or from their runway collections, you know, or from their campaigns wanting to wear a pair of Air Max ones. It's just you know, or even browsing Hypebeast <laughs> for the for the for the for the number one. Seeing them fucking queue up at fucking sneakers and stuff or, you know, checking their sneakers app. I don't know, this this lady's probably out shopping somewhere in fucking Monaco. I wouldn't expect them to be trundling around at Air Max ones with me and my friends, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Who bloody knows? So according to Hypebeast, is there a date on the release yet? No date when they're gonna release. However, they're saying summertime in the summer. There's a better picture of them. Um some free. The silvers are really nice though. And I like how they changed the tip of them. So they are quite cool. And because they're a limited edition shoe, they're probably going to do numbers anyway. I'm probably speaking out of turn and nobody was going to agree with me. They're going to sell out anyway. And um, there's a massive Jack Moose. I don't know what this hang tag is all about, by the way. That's just unnecessary waste of material. I don't know what this is for. Maybe you're going to put this on your bag, but this huge Jack Moose hang tag. And it looks like the words are kind of skewed as well. They're not really straight. That also isn't weird. And is the midsole navy it's not even black in it that's a bit weird isn't it silver and navy i'm not too sure if i'm too fond of that one but overall nice shoe um i'm sure it's going to do numbers it's going to probably sell out and go for crazy amounts of money on StockX, and i'll be looking like an idiot because i don't really like them too much but yeah i just don't get it i just don't get it i just don't don't get it but who who knows maybe i'm the one that's in the wrong Maybe I'm the one that's in the wrong. Who bloody knows?